It has been a year now since a teenager was hit and killed, a six-year-old boy who was just riding his bike actually on the sidewalk in a northwest side neighborhood. And now the city is lowering the speed limit on that street where he was killed. The accident happened along Autumn Sunrise. That's just inside 1604 near Braun Road. News 4's Randy Escamilla visited that neighborhood today where he talked to the little boy's mother. Terribly sad story, Randy. Randy, the accident that killed six-year-old Brandon Abrams last year was absolutely horrific. And now his parents have launched an anti-texting campaign, hoping that no family ever has to experience their agony. A makeshift memorial marks the spot where an accused 17-year-old distracted driver hit and killed six-year-old Brandon Abrams. It's just feet away from his mother's house. I slow down every time I see the fence and talk to him, you know, and hope that... He can hear me. This picture of Brandon shows him on the very bike he was riding when he died. It was taken just a month before the tragedy. According to reports, there's no proof the 17-year-old was texting, but he did drop his cell phone, bend down to pick it up, and in a split second, ran over the little boy. He uh, hit the bump, drops his phone, picks it up, and runs his truck onto the sidewalk where my son was on his bike waiting for the ice cream truck. Shortly after Brandon's death, the city installed speed humps to slow down traffic. Last week, the city also lowered the speed from 30 to 25 miles an hour. They drive just as fast now. Rick Linstead has lived on Autumn Sunrise for nine years. He likes the lower speed limit, but is not at all optimistic. That's not going to change. They won't. People fly up and down this road, whether it's 15 miles an hour, whether it's 30 miles an hour. They won't slow down. While Brandon's mother advocates against texting and driving, you could kill somebody. She also kill believes drivers who negligently kill people should face consequences. Like the 17 year old should have been able to go school to school and say, Look, I did this. I killed this little boy, and I don't want it to happen to you. That lower speed limit will take effect immediately. Meanwhile, Councilman Chris Medina's office says that it will call on the San Antonio police to begin enforcing that lower speed limit. Live downtown, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4, San Antonio. Thanks, Randy.